Hi there, gorgeous. Hope you are doing fabulously. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. It's just been a very challenging week here. Woohoo! But I'm so glad to be here with you, and I hope that you have had a great week nonetheless. So before I hop in today's video, I wanted to address something that has been coming up in the comment section quite often, and that is filters. A lot of people seem to think I'm using filters in my filming. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I never have. I don't feel the need to. I think it's false advertising personally, so you will never see me use them. But what happened was in the video last week, I had noticed when I brought it into the editor, it was really hazy looking. And I, I was like, what is what is going on here? And it was the first time I really had seen what everybody was talking about. So I immediately came over to the camera because I was thinking it had something to do with the lens. And sure enough, I turned the lens around and there was this huge smudge right across the lens. <laughs> so I took some time to really clean the lens and hopefully I look a lot clearer now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to be a little more mindful of my lens in the future. But turns out, I think that that was what a lot of people have been seeing over the past couple months. I know it's been, clean your lens, Sabrina, come on. Thankfully, it was something really silly and simple like that because I was getting ready to buy a new lens, honestly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do. In today's video, I am trying out eight viral beauty products with you. Some of these I've already tried before, so there'll be a little bit of a rehash, but if you haven't seen me talk about them, then this will be the first time that you'll see me talk about them anyway. But I'll show you up close how they perform, what my opinion was of each of them, and whether or not they are ones, in my opinion, that are worth trying. By the way, I did not get injured in the making of this video. I know that thumbnail looks rather but yeah, we'll talk about that product here in a few minutes. The first product that came up in this list was the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This is a product that I reviewed, I wanna say last year, if I'm not mistaken, when I was looking for products that you can wear by themselves without having to apply a foundation on top that did a little bit of color correcting to the skin. And that's exactly what this is. This is something to help reduce redness in the skin. So it has a green tinge to it, as you'll see here. And you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison here of blending it into my skin on half of my face, what it does to redness, it completely eradicates it. And it does have sunscreen in the formula. There's an SPF of 30 in here. So it's one of those products, if you want to wear it all by itself, you don't, you don't feel like applying anything over the top. You don't have to. And there is no green tinge on your skin. Nobody will be able to detect it. And that's one of the reasons why I do love this. And I was really happy to see it on this list. Definitely agree with it being one of those that is viral worthy and one worth checking out if you do suffer with redness on the skin. The second product is one that hmm, I tried very recently and okay, it's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is a color correcting full coverage, basically CC cream. This one from everything that I've seen on it has mixed reviews. Some people really love it. Some people really hate it. <laughs> For me, I have oily skin. That could be a contributing factor to me as to why this was not so great. It's being compared to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which is another one that does not play well with my skin. And so when I first heard that before I even tried this product, I thought, oh my gosh, I hope that it doesn't do the same thing that the IT Cosmetics product did, but it did and it looked horrible on my skin. It didn't hold up well at all. I want to say it lasted for maybe four to five hours before it completely broke down and it just brought out texture in my skin. It wasn't flattering. So unfortunately, this is not one that I personally love, but that's just my opinion. By the way, as I'm sharing the products with you for this video, feel free to share your experiences with any of them down below in the description box. Would love to hear your thoughts on them also. The next product, excuse me, I have a cough allergies. Oh, stuff. Everything is blooming right now. Okay. The next product is L'Oreal's infallible powder foundation. I don't need to tell you much about this one. If you've seen enough of this in my videos recently, I love this product. I love it because it's a powder. I love it for the coverage. It provides the most beautiful, flawless, full coverage on the skin with very little product needed in the application. And it looks amazing. Best part is it lasts on me for about eight to nine hours, somewhere in there. And it looks great all day long. It's not one of those products that I have to babysit. It's not one that I have to touch up. It does give my skin a mattified finish. It does not feel greasy. 
and it's one of the best powders from the drugstore that I have tried most recently. So I was really happy, ecstatic to see this one on the list. Next on the list, Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. These are amazing. Did you know they come in 22 different scents? <laughs> I didn't. Now this one is watermelon. Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like watermelon. Even it has little bitty things in there that look like seeds. <laughs> but oh, oh my gosh, it's like, mm, oh. it's, it's one of those amazing products, not only in how it sloughs off dead skin cells from your skin, it's excellent for prepping your skin right before applying sunless tanner. I absolutely love this. I could just sit here all day and smell it. This next product is the one that you saw featured in the thumbnail there, and I know that's a pretty scary looking product. <laughs> it was. The Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution. So what this is, is basically a 10 minute exfoliating facial. And the idea is you're supposed to apply it onto the skin, let it sit and dry for about 10 minutes. You're not supposed to leave it on longer than 10 minutes and then rinse it off. And it's supposed to, exfoliate the skin, help to diminish acne and hydrate. So it contains glycolic and lactic acids, beta hydroxy acids and hyaluronic acid. And I can tell you that after having used it, my skin did feel smoother. I, I'm not really struggling with acne at the moment, so I didn't notice any differences there with it, but it wasn't something that, I mean, it wasn't like, wow, it didn't make me want to rave about it the handful of times that I have used it it was good but it wasn't like the most spectacular thing I've ever used if that makes sense and just so you know the red dye doesn't stain anything it didn't stain the washcloth it didn't stain my face it didn't stain any area where I might have dripped some of it in the bathroom so that was not an issue thankfully because that was one of my personal concerns but it just was like one of those products where it was good was it great Ah, it's, it's up to you. The next product that I tried out is one from NYX. This is their Makeup Shine Loud High Shine Lip Color. If you love matte lipstick, but you don't like the complete matte finish of the lipstick, you're gonna love this one because it has a gloss that you can put over the top. So basically, you apply the liquid lipstick on the lips, you allow that to dry completely, and then you put the gloss over the top. And there is no transfer whatsoever. It remains intact all day long. This is one that I tested out for a total of about nine or 10 hours on the day that I wore it. And I could not believe how stuck on my lips this stuff was. I mean, when I went to take it off at the end of the night, it came off really easily and I had no trouble removing it. But my goodness, I had kids hitting me in the mouth with toys and everything else that day and nothing transferred. It remained completely intact. And the gloss does come off obviously. But I like the gloss being added on top though because it gives your lips a hydrated appearance rather than having that dried out mattified look that you sometimes can get with those rather matte lipsticks. So if you've been looking for a product like that, I think you would really love this one and I can see why this one is so raved about. It was excellent. Next product I want to share with you is one from Maybelline. This is their Sky High Waterproof Mascara. Now this one has gone viral because it makes people look like they're wearing false eyelashes even though they're only using this mascara. So I tried it out on my naked lashes so you can see everything up close here. They claim that there are little fibers in the formula that give your lashes more volume and look like natural extensions. I personally didn't really see those little fibers. I don't know if you really can see them. They're not detectable to the naked eye anyway, but what I found with this mascara is that it added a lot of great length, not so much volume. I didn't really see any volumizing effect with it, but there is a lot of length there. So this would probably be one that I would pair up with an extra volumizing mascara, like one from Essence. And it was pretty good from the standpoint of a lengthening mascara and it did not smudge, it did not flake. It didn't fall apart. It looked just as great at the end of the day as it did at the beginning. And the last viral beauty product that I have to share with you is from Glow Recipe, and that is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Now this is a serum-like formula. It contains niacinamide, which is excellent for reducing inflammation and smooths the skin's texture. 
And I can absolutely see why people love this one because when you apply it onto bare skin, let's just say that you don't wanna wear any makeup that day and you just wanna go bare-faced, which has been me <laughs> quite often lately, this looks gorgeous on the skin. You really don't need much, you just put it on lightly and it gives you a youthful, radiating glow. It's absolutely gorgeous and it feels really good. It makes your skin so soft. And the best part about this one is you can also use it underneath your foundation. A little bit goes a long way, I will warn you now, especially if you're oily. But you can also apply a little bit of this over the top of your foundation. So after you're done with your makeup for the day, if you apply a little bit to the high points of the face where you would typically apply highlighter, it gives your skin such a beautiful radiant glow that looks completely natural. So I can see why this one went viral and I really enjoyed it even though I'm oily and it's not a product that I would typically be drawn to. It's done really great things for my skin and I've enjoyed using it. So highly recommend trying that one out. Now those were not all the products. Those are just the ones that I wanted to try out and share with you in today's video. The other products that were on this list included a freckle pen from a company called Freck Beauty. And it's basically a pen that puts little freckles on your skin. I have freckles already, just born with them and never really been a fan of them. So that wasn't a product that I was really interested in trying out myself, but I think if that trend speaks to you and it's something that you want to try, then I that could be a great little product and it's gone viral for a reason. The other product that was on this list that I had no interest in demonstrating for you is Vaseline Jelly. There is a term called slugging that a lot of people have been doing where it's basically slathering their faces with Vaseline after having done their entire nighttime skincare routine. And they say that it helps to reduce cystic acne. Now, I don't know how true that is because I'm not a dermatologist and I don't have the scientific expertise, but I could just tell you that Vaseline has petroleum in it and your skin absorbs everything that you put on it. And I'm just not a fan of putting Vaseline on my skin. I did it years ago and then someone enlightened me to that fact, so I will never do it again. But yeah, petroleum is not anything to really mess around with. Another product that was on this list is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Water Refill Pouch. It would be really cool to try because you hook it up to a continuous spray bottle and then you spritz the solution on your body and buff it with a mitt. And they say that it's supposed to mimic the same technique as a spray tan technician uses, which that would be really awesome to try. So that may be one we want to try in the future, but just putting it out there in case you've been looking for a product like that, it did look really intriguing. If you are interested in any of the products I shared with you here today, I will have all of them listed and linked for you below this stuff right here. If you get just one product on this list, you got to try this stuff, especially the watermelon scent. Oh, it's just, <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this today. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with me. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. I'm wishing you a beautifully blessed day ahead, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.